This video will show you the beginning steps in preparing spaghetti squash. Any spaghetti squash recipe starts with this basic step. Of course, this squash is a large and it's already been washed. So you need to cut off the end here. Now I've cut off the stem. And the reason I do this is because I'm going to pre-cook the spaghetti squash in the microwave. And it's been my experience that sometimes the stem will catch on fire in the microwave. So I always cut mine off. After you've removed the stem, go ahead and poke some holes in the outside of the spaghetti squash gourd. After I've pierced the gourd with a fork four to eight times, I place it in a shallow microwavable dish. This is going to go in my microwave for about five minutes. Okay, the squash is cooked for five minutes and we need to see if it's done. This is a large gourd. I'm expecting it not to be ready and that it needs to cook a little longer, but I'll show you how to check. You just push in the side, it should give way. Now this doesn't give way at all, so I think I need to do this another four minutes based on my experience. Okay, the spaghetti squash has cooked another four minutes, so that's a total of nine minutes. It's very hot, but I'm not sure if it's done yet. This was a rather large gourd. So to check it, I'm going to place a dish towel over it and push on it. Again, it's not giving at all. It's very hard. So I'm going to do it another four minutes. Now, if you have a small gourd, you could get away with five or six minutes cooking time in a microwave. And this is about a 1200 watt oven. Fairly powerful. Okay, our squash has cooked now 13 minutes. I hope it's ready, but I'm just gonna show you how I check it. Again, because it's so hot, I'm using the dish towel and I can push on it and really get it moving on the inside. See where I've made these indentions. Okay, we cooked this large spaghetti squash gourd in the microwave for 13 minutes. It's now soft when you push it in and we're ready to go to the next step. It is very hot, so I'm gonna cool it in the refrigerator before I handle it. Normally, when I'm preparing a spaghetti squash Dish. I'll do this preparation step one day and then put this in the refrigerator and the next day fix my recipe. So now we're going to cool it in the refrigerator. Okay, our spaghetti squash has cooled after we cooked it in the microwave and now we're ready to get the spaghetti strands out of the gourd. So you cut it lengthwise and open it up. Here you can see the spaghetti squash strands. This is what we're going to cook with. But this darker material here with all the seeds, that's, um, that needs to be removed. Now, if you'd like, you can save the seeds and roast them and use them as a garnish. And that's pretty good, actually. So I'll probably save a few of those seeds. of 
the dark material with the seeds I'm just going to get rid of. board after we cut it lengthwise. It's already been cooked in the microwave and we're going to fork through it and this gets the spaghetti strands out so we can cook it. And so you just work your fork through the pulp and it breaks out in spaghetti strands. So, and you really work yourself into the pulp all the way to get it all out. I'm going to go through that a little more off camera, but this is your spaghetti squash strands that you'll be cooking with. 